Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 and today we're back with part 2 of the Researching Corthian Relics playthrough. An infusion of anima. Normally we would infuse the load staff with energy from the nether star, another relic of note. Regrettably, that is not an option. But in a pinch, anima is an acceptable substitute. Take the load staff, brandish it near recently slain devourers in the estuary below us. The staff should draw in and absorb their anima. So we need to infuse the load staff with anima. And consulting the experts, we can restore the function of the load staff, but it will require the wisdom of the archivists. Not just me, but the archivists who have come before. They were laid to rest near here. Given the scale of the destruction of Corthia and the likely possibility that this destruction will continue, this may be our last chance to visit their memorials before they are irrevocably ruined. Visit the archivist's memorials, take Rosweer with you so that he may take note of their messages before they are lost. And the quest objective is to commune with the archivist's memorials. So it's kind of sad because everything that they've known and everything about Corthia has been completely systematically destroyed piece by piece. And they are basically the only survivors left and they're trying to pass on what they can to us and our allies hey, to try and help the us. Of the it's kind of really sad. Aww. The staff requires both anima and wisdom to function. So if the staff wants both anima and well, knowledge, that kind of lost. suggests that it's at least semi-animate because it wants wisdom as well. Right, so I think we're going to have to fight the guys in this like little valley in front of us and possibly because there's a lot of verticality around the edges here. I think we might be needing to go up and down to get to all of the memorials. So I think there's going to be a lot of going up and down paths and finding different ways up and down little mountains and things. Let's head down first and see what we can find. Right, so what's that little yellow... Oh yeah, there's a little yellow marker. Look. Oh, is that this? It's like a little pile of bones. All. all right, so we've got relic fragments. I'm sure these are going to be useful with these guys that we're talking to at the moment. I bet that's going to be a vendor with these archivists, isn't it? That's, the archivists are probably going to be another faction, aren't they? Oh, I don't think there's that many archivists left. Hopefully there's more around the area as we start to investigate more. Right, so these are the right ones to forget any anima and stuff. That guy's a little bit big. I don't want to take him on on my own, and I certainly don't want to take him on if I'm fighting two of the mobs. I'll just keep backing up trying now. Yes, he's an elite. I don't think I want to take him on, especially not with all the mobs already. Get him in a little bit when he's the only one. Especially if anybody else has a go. Oh, that other person there stopped. I wonder if they're thinking about coming back for the big guy. Yeah, let's take this flying guy out. That gives more space for him to work on the elite as well. So they're like little shovelhead guys. They had the anima. I found out now whether the rape flying rape flying frenzied razor wings have anima. Oh look, somebody's attacking the elite now. Can we get out of this fight fast enough to go and help with that? Oh no, he's greyed out anyway, so. Well, we will leave the hood to that then. This looks like we might have found the first memorial just up this hill. One moment, please. Oh, wait, this history forgets far more than it remembers. Archivist Ray Gemma, Keeper of Truth. 
An archivist functions as a conduit for the transferal of knowledge. However, the archivist does not shoulder this burden alone. They rely upon the assistance of others who are faithful to the purpose. So these are the messages that Sonara was asking us to recover, which is why Rosu is here, to get all of these messages, to keep them for posterity. And as I said, it is up the hill, so the memorials are probably up the hill and the mobs we need to kill mostly down, maybe? I'm just speculating at this point. I think there's another memorial up this hill, looking at that, and there's one of these shovel head guys, what do you call Ravenous scavengers. And these are definitely not the animals, these are a good target for the gathering. So we can see a memorial just off to our left. And if we look at the mini-map, we're really on the edge of the quest area, so we don't want to go any further up this hill. So maybe the memorials are kind of around the edge of the area and the monsters are in the centre section. And these like shovel head guys don't look particularly contaminated by the invasion, so it's a shame that we've got to take them out, really. Take the message, Rosemary. Knowledge is nothing without understanding. Archivist Roluda, Relic Restorer. The afterlives of the Shadowlands give rise to many curious, fantastic and unstable relics. It is our purpose to catalogue, curate, study and safeguard them. By our ministrations we will better understand the nature of each afterlife. We will comprehend how disparate souls fit in the fabric of existence and perhaps more importantly we will keep potentially dangerous relics out of the hands of those who would misuse them. That's definitely a good goal, isn't it? Right, let's go find some more mobs to get anima from, and we need two more archivist tombs. Let's see if these mites will give us the anima we need as well. Target, so that's a shame those guys don't care. Which it says they should do. Oh, wait, do I have to target them or something? We have to target them. Let's try these two guys and see again. Let's see if we can just click on them or do we have to actually physically target each one independently to be able to drain it with the staff? Yeah, see that works. So why did the one up the hill not work? That's kind of a little bit weird, isn't it? Now big C. Oh, he's not a melee. Let's try the ravenous gorger. The bigger they are, sometimes the more filled by you get from them. So let's test this out a bit, shall we? Oops, let's not stand in that. AOE areas are usually not a good idea. Oh yes, we can remove shields. I keep forgetting to look for shields. Kitty, remember, look for shields because you can dispel them. That will make your fight a little bit shorter. Should we stand in one of those areas to find out how much damage it does? Nah. <laughs> dodge them, dodge them. Good practice to dodge. Lazy to not dodge. Alright, let's see, we're at 31. Where you at? 43, so we got 12 for him, so we did get more for him than we've been getting for the smaller monsters. So, I think the memorial is up the hill. So we can see a marker there. It's quite a long way from where we are now, so we'll take out a few mobs on the way up there, I think. Let's see how much animal we can get.
I'm gonna get meat again from these guys as well. Do a bit of cooking later, maybe. Right. Oh, it's not. Should we? Um, right. So this, yeah, I think both of the memorials are up this hill, in different directions. So let's just take out the mobs as we head in that vague direction, and then hopefully we'll have both completed about the same time. So the scavengers and the razor wing things are fighting each other. So I don't know if this is like a territorial incursion or something. Maybe because they've all been moved out of their natural habitats because a lot of the area of course has been destroyed and everything's kind of been pushed into a smaller area. It's kind of sad isn't it? Everything's fighting for its survival. And they are very unique models so... Our butterfly friend, whose name I now can't remember, she wanted to preserve all the flora and fauna, didn't she? So I think that's actually something that needs to be done here, otherwise we're going to lose all of these unique monsters. Trust. Mind of course, us going through killing everything isn't going to help that, is it? <laughs> Restore the archive. Oh, poor little butterfly girl, she's going to have to set up a sanctuary to preserve the wildlife, isn't she? Right then. That could be quite fun actually as a side quest thing. We could set up a sanctuary with the butterfly girl to preserve the wildlife that we've been going around killing. She'd say go catch them instead of killing them all and come and save them. That would be fun actually. Set up a sanctuary on the side of Gorthor or something. That would be so fun. Right, we're at 59%. And we are slowly getting closer to the next memorial. 68. I, we have a solemn responsibility. Yes, you're trying to preserve all of the knowledge that your people have been guarding for centuries, haven't you? And suddenly everything's kind of been whipped away from you. Not in a good position, are you? And they're not telling us what they've been trying to preserve and hide, you see, so... Uh, maybe eventually they'll uh, trust us enough to tell us what's going on. By which point it'll probably be too late and the uh, bad guys will have all the things that we could have protected. Wow, I'm in a bit of a negative frame of mind today, aren't we? Ooh dear, that's not good. <laughs> I have heard stories about this archivist. Oh. Right, so what's his message for us? Them, but never covetous. Archivist Rokeith, speaker for all. The lodestone serves a unique purpose. It can effectively locate the rest of the relics. Each archivist is attuned to the relics they studied. When they pass their attunements to the lodestaff, it can be harnessed to locate those objects. Right, so each person's attuned to whatever it is that they've been archiving and protecting but they can impart that knowledge into the load staff so whoever holds the load staff could potentially find everything so i think that's what we're trying to do here isn't it is to make the load staff the key that anybody can find everything so that everything can pos potentially and possibly be preserved i think that egg over there in that tree is possibly a treasure but i'm not quite sure from here where we get into it do we climb from the bottom or from the top if it looks a bit tricky, we might leave it and come back later off screen because I don't want to make the video overly long just trying to parkour up trees and things. But we'll have a quick look while we're here. Because we still need a little bit more anima and we still need the final archivist. So this is a new type of mobs. Do they count? Hmm, looks like not. Um, yeah, that doesn't look particularly scalable from down here, so I suspect the way it up. No, yeah, they're not jumpable, are they? Right, so the, st the tree doesn't look climbable from the bottom, and the stones are not jumpable, so access to that treasure must be from up the top somewhere. Yeah, that's too steep, isn't it? Right. Um, we do want to go up the cliff, though. I think we do have to go all the way around though to get back up the cliff, don't we? Is there a path there? It's almost a path, but yeah, the gaps are just that little bit too big, aren't they? Can we jump? Yeah, it's 
Can it? Oh. Yeah, I don't think it wants you to go up that way. Yeah, definitely too steep. There's no way to jump up there from here. Yeah, I think the access point must be from the top across that branch. Oh yeah, that branch that goes across to the top there. Yeah, probably that way. Right, let's run round and try and find the other Archivist stone. Nice. Will we fight? Oh, no, oh, I think we can run past these guys. They, the one we did fight didn't contribute to the enemy. So, oh, there's the other one, Laura. I think we might have to fight. The Shardhide Brute. Yes, and that's an awful lot of different models in such a tiny little space, isn't it? Poor things have been displaced. And they're very aggressive and angry. Final one. I have heard stories about this archivist. Right. Is this A secret Oops. is only as powerful as those who fear it. Archivist Ro Ma, Scrivener of Wisdom. The Shadowlands are composed of multitudinous afterlives. It is no small wonder that the properties of some subset of these afterlives and the personalities of those who reside there would lead to the existence of fantastic relics. Our studies, therefore, are not merely centred on the relics, but also on the beings with which they are associated, as well as their afterlife of origin. So there you go, they stud different people study relics and other people study the peoples from which the relics have come. So that they're looking at different parts of the knowledge and wisdom from different areas and different specialities. Right, so that's all of the archivist memorials found and all their messages kept. So now we know what they all thought was the most important area of research and each one had their own specialisation topic. So we need a little bit more anima now to be able to charge the lodestar. Oh look, there's another one of those treasure things on the floor. Shard hide alpha. Oh, these guys didn't seem to want to give me any anima, so it's just seems a shame to be fighting them. Nice bright orange on the back of his spine, and red round the edges, isn't it? Nice set of colours, look. Art department, you've done a great job again with all of these models for all these new monsters. They look lovely. So let's go down the hill again because the shard hides don't seem to be... Oh no, he's going to fight me. Hey, I don't really want to fight you guys because you guys aren't giving me the anima I need. Okay, okay, I have to fight. They just won't leave me alone. They're too aggressive. Did you hear those noises? They kind of sounded like a baby elephant. Yeah, I definitely don't seem to be able to get the anima off these guys. I keep trying to press the staff and it's just not working on me. Right, so let's get down the hill to the mobs that we know were given as the anima. Yeah, those shovel head guys. Look a bit like dinosaurs, don't they? Those guys, they'll definitely give us the anima. Oh, he's 
razor wing. Now the razor wings don't give the anima either, it's just the little shovel head monsters that look like little Welcome mini dinosaurs that seem to be the ones that give us most of it. Some of the mites do, but not all of them, they're a bit hit and miss. I would have kind of thought that all the wildlife would, but no. I wonder why they just chose the one type of mobs for that. Right, so how far does that put us? 80. Ooh, now there don't seem to be many mobs left. Is that? Ooh, don't fall off the cliff. Have to go round a little bit. Oh yes, there's one. So we are heading roughly back in this, the direction of um, the archivist again to turn in the quest. We just need a little bit more animal. One more monster. This guy will probably do it, won't it? And then we can turn in. Hello, Mr. Gorger. Alright, so there's the answer. The area we from him. Just take off a sizable chunk of your health, so you don't want to stand in loads of them. But you'll be okay standing in with you. Good practice to dodge out of areas, of course, but uh, you could probably survive them if you really wanted to be lazy. And this should finish it, I think. Yep, now we're ready to turn in. And I just think we want to head a little bit further in this direction. Yes, that looks right. And then he'll be hidden in that big rock, won't he? That mirage image rock. Power must always be tempered by wisdom. An infusion of anima. The load staff is humming with vibrant energy. The anima worked better than I could have hoped. Consulting the experts, I trust you and scholar Rosphere learned from the archivists. We did indeed, and we took down all of their messages so that uh, they can be preserved. I really like the way you work, splitting the burden between multiple people to study it all. Hope ascending. There is one final thing we must do. Meet us atop the peak of Hope's ascent. Quest objective. Meet archivist Ro Sonara and scholar Ro Swear near the top of Hope's ascent. Okay, so which mountain is Hope's Ascent? So we're going to empower the load staff, I take it, up at the top of Hope's Ascent. So what is this, like, white glowing orb she's got round her hands? It's a really impressive little light show, isn't it? Is it anima or is it like grabbing the knowledge or what is she actually doing? It is tragic. But so many loyal archivists are no longer with us. They served the purpose as intended, and their wisdom aids us still. In time you will understand. Wow, well, she's still got faith in what they were trying to do, despite all of the horrible things that have just happened, like the whole of her world's been dis pretty much destroyed and is still disintegrating in front of her eyes, yet she still believes in the purpose, whatever their purpose is. I mean, if her purpose is preserving the relics and the knowledge, uh, when a lot of it seems to have been lost, I would find that a little bit hard to hold on to the hope and the belief in the purpose, wouldn't you? Well, it looks like we're nearly there. Oh, no, we don't have to go all the way to the top of the hill. We, we just need to go to higher ground. Oh, there's like a memorial shrine thing here. Oh, there's the stuff on top of it. Okay, so this is where we're going to be doing our ritual, is well, it? Okay. 
I was beginning Focus to worry that you had given minds. up on our cause. But I came straight here. I didn't go off anywhere. I came straight Pain here. How could you have lost temporary. belief already? Oh, dear, dear, dear. Lost forever. Finding one's true purpose. All our efforts have led us here with the combined wisdom of the archivists and a little help from a night elf priest we will attune the load staff to the relics that we seek should we succeed we will have what we need to re-establish the archive our sacred work can then continue quest objectives participate in the ritual to attune the load staff See, so she's admitting that everything's gone, but she still wants to rebuild the archive, and she's dedicated to trying to side, replace Morgan. everything that's been lost. That's a bit of dedication for you, isn't it? Right, so we've got a circle, and we want to click on stuff. Okay. Fueled by anima, and guided by wisdom, the Lodestaff will lead its wielder to every relic the archive has ever held. Our sacred purpose shall continue. Archivists of old, give unto the Lodestaff all of your knowledge. Though your echoes will be forever lost, your sacrifice shall never be forgotten. Archivist Rojema! Archivist Roluda! Oh, they're putting everything into this guy. Archivist Rokel. Well, that's sad. Archivist Roma. And Archivist Rosanara. May Wait, my what? wisdom provide guidance in our darkest hour. Oh, no. So Portia might once again witness the dawn. She's given up her life to Rosanara, re no. replace the archive. We need you for the purpose. Oh, now that is true dedication. Oh, that's so sad. Wisdom and knowledge must be preserved. So much has been taken from us, and yet, due to Rosanara's sacrifice, there is hope. Memories are fleeting. The archive is eternal. Establishing the archive, I will head to Keeper's Respite, where there is some small semblance of safety. There we will establish a new archive. Meet me there when you are able. I hope we can count on you again. We will have need of your assistance there in the future. Quest objective, meet scholar Rose Sphere at the Keeper's Respite and you will earn the Archivist's Codex. So I think helping the scholars and the archivists is going to be an ongoing thing throughout Corthia. So their purpose now, of course, is to re-establish the entirety of their archive, which we've pretty much lost now, isn't it? So, yeah, unlocking the Archivist's Codex reputation with... Rose, we allowing him to rebuild the archive. Restore yeah, so that is what we're going to be doing now. So we're going to have the ongoing thing. Oh, we can't pick up the staff. He must have taken it with him. Yeah, so we're going to have the whole going through the zone, probably trying to rebuild the archive, which is probably what all those relics we've been picking up as we travel are to go back into the archive for them. So they are a reputation like I thought they would be. So we want to head back to the um, town that we've established, the little outpost help him set up his archive and go from there. And I'm presuming there'll either be little mini events or quests or things to help him as we progress through Corthia. So let's just run all the way back now. referring to the map because we don't know our way around yet. All the paths seem to be a little bit twiddly so there's lots of little turns. And once we turn this corner it's pretty much a straight run back to the uh, <coughs> the little base that we've got for ourselves now.
and I think here you can either go left or right to come to the actual little enclave that we've got. And then up the hill. And then we'll find him a little place to set up in here, I think. Right, where does he want to set up? Well, there he is. I... We... Have a solemn responsibility. It is hard to imagine how I will continue without the archivist. Seek out knowledge oh. Where oh. oh, look, a ghost comes to see us. As my echo fades, I leave the archive in your care. There must be someone else. I am not ready. Yes, you are. Far more than you realize. <clears throat> From this moment forward, you are the archivist of Corthia. Yep, he's in charge now. Retrieve the relics, restore the archive, and place your trust in the mortals who seek to aid you. Oh, she believes in him, that's so cool. I will do what I can, Rosanara. May the purpose guide us. Purpose guide you, Archivist. Oh, she believes in him, but now he's got a hard job. Very hard job left to the poor guy. And I think he's going to set up then inside this little cave. That's where we can start rebuilding the archive then. And I think today's episode has been long enough, so I think we'll continue with his next quest in the next episode. Trust. Yeah, he's got a couple of quests. We'll do those in the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. From SoftKitty99, goodbye and happy days!